Hello and welcome to Man Cave Mechanic. My name is Troy Bry, and today we're going to be reinstalling the injectors that we just had cleaned by High Performance Injectors. Let's get at it. Okay, we've received our injectors back from High Performance Injector. You can see that they replaced the screens as well as the O-rings. Now I opted to have these cleaned rather than have them replaced. If you want to replace them, there's a number on the side of each one of the injectors for you to reorder. They will come with new clips. I opted to have them clean, so I'm reusing the old clips. First thing you wanna do is clean your fuel rail, spray some carb cleaner in there, blow that out with an air gun. Same with your in and out line from your fuel pressure regulator. Don't forget to do your fuel lines from the fuel pump to the fuel rail. Clean those out as well. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take some motor oil and you're going to lubricate the o-ring do the same thing on all of these bells i just took a q-tip and wiped the inside of it just to make them go in a little easier first one goes in they just snap right in electrical plug facing up clip comes in you can see on these injectors there's a notch right here on the side that's where the clip is going to slide in and lock it onto the fuel rail all right, they come in from the back side and slide right in like that. I'm going to do the other seven and be back with you shortly. Okay, we've got our injectors back installed in the fuel rail. We've lubricated the O-rings with motor oil. One thing I wanted to note that when you take this out, these plastic ends here, one of them or all of them may be missing what they do is they hold the o-ring on there they're not part of the injector or anything so if they're missing just get them out of there and um they might replace them for you if you request it at uh, high performance injectors they did that for me so i'm sure they'll do it for you but they also said that they just retain the o-ring so you can still put it on and it'll still work so that just the o-ring might stay in there the next time you pull your injectors so we're going to install this in now get everything out of the way line up your ports i initially took in with a q-tip and some motor oil and wiped around the inside of the port where the injector will slide into so it'll help it go in better too. So now it's just a matter of plugging them in. Snap in, snap in, line them up. Snap in. And there we go, we're good there, okay. Now we're gonna, in reverse order, we're gonna put in the bolts as we took them out. The silver top ones went to the back that hold the fuse box in place. The red topped ones go to the front. Okay, now that we have access, we're gonna plug in our injectors. Now, I've got these numbered, four, three, two, one, from back to front. Um, they plug in one way on the starboard side, the gray retaining clip is facing forward, on the port side, it's facing back. So, you're gonna plug them in, and if you don't have them numbered, don't worry, the, the wiring harness is wired in order, just pick for the back one, pick the farthest one back. The next one, second from the back. Same with the second and first. Plug it in, and then slide the clip down. Do that with all eight of them. Now, 
they can get confused. But as you can see, there's one farther back than the other. So that is the one that goes back here. Plug it in. Plug it in, and the same on the port side. So that one's back farther. This one's up here. Okay, those look good. All right, now we're going to install the, reinstall the fuse box. Place it on there. Put your washers on. That's gonna be tricky because it's tight. You don't wanna obviously drop these in. You will not be happy. Tuck this in, get this plugged in. Oh, we still got room. Okay. Next, we're going to plug in our fuel lines. Now, the best way to do this is to mark them ahead of time. Now, but if you do and they don't, the mark wipes off, the fuel supply from the high pressure pump plugs in the top. So follow that back, and then you're just going to plug it in. It just snaps right into place. The return line goes on the bottom. Snap that into place. Now we'll move to the throttle linkage. Side over. Put that in there for now. Reinstall our fuel pressure regulator. I took some motor oil and just wiped it real light around the edge to help it slide in a little easier. Now, some of these have screens on them. Clean, make sure you clean that off. This happens to have the E clip. clip in then your vacuum line okay take your rag out of your throttle body reinstall the throttle body or reinstall the flame arrestor excuse me on the throttle body hook up the hose in the back Tighten it down. Install the engine.
engine cover. And actually, the better way to do this is to take these rubber things off there. Makes your life a little simpler. And you're ready to go. Okay, here's the before. We could only get up to 26 to 2800 RPM and then it would just quit. We could never get on plane. If we put it in neutral, we could rev it as high as we wanted to, but it could just didn't have the power to get it up on plane. This was taking it out of storage for the first time this year. On the, at the boat launch, we had, when the initial startup, a bunch of white smoke coming out, <clears throat> got up on plane, Going across the lake, shut down to coast in, powered up again, and would not would not go over 26, 2800 RPM. And here we have after we installed the cleaned injectors, we're already past 3,000, noticeable acceleration, higher RPMs. We got it all the way up to 48, 4900 RPMs, and 45 mile an hour big difference even from before there you have it having pain issue in your fuel pump can cause fuel problems down the line including clogging your fuel injectors if you'd like to have your fuel injectors cleaned I'll leave a link to high performance injectors up here if you'd like a link to my YouTube channel I'll leave a link down here if you'd like a link to my website where I sell parts and accessories I'll leave a link right here leave a like and comment my name is Troy Bry with Man Cave Mechanic have a great day.